What is up, friends? We are back with another Let's Play of Hades. We are on run number seven. Um, we've got keepsakes. We've got two keepsakes now, so we're going to work, start working through, like, min-maxing, like, how we handle keepsakes. Kind of get back more used to the spear. And uh, we're going to take on hell mode. I'm, I'm going to get through... Gonna get through Tartarus again. Hopefully, get through Asphodel and get to Lerny. Get that diamond so we can kind of advance that storyline in the in the House of Hades. But let's go right into it. Not wasting any time today. Get the audio situated. Ooh, they got a little bit too loud. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. <clears throat> Yeah, so we got two goals. Um, I'm going to save darkness so that once we get ten keys, I can get as much health as possible. So from here, I'm going to just kind of hold off. And either we get to 500 for another Death Defiance, or we get to ten keys. Either one which comes first. We'll see. We shall see. I have a feeling we'll get ten keys first, but we shall see. Okay, let me double check, make sure I've got that one equipped. Yep. Okay, here we go. So I've got a few nectars. I think I want to make sure. Oh, it gives us one side again. Okay. Full dealing with your enemies down there, so let me see what I can do. Got all right. Attack. Special deals more damage. Not supposed to way cast is a real attack. It's not the biggest bonus. I just I already know I don't use the special near enough, and then that cast is not especially useful. Each time the prince delves back into the underworld, its ever shifting chambers realign to frustrate his attempts to perhaps map it out. Built to ensure no one gets out. We'll see about that. We shall see about that. What Later. Now? Probably not during this round. <laughs> At some point. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I may have like the run of my life. If I so once I get to the the fists, I feel like I legitimately could make it to the end of the game. At this stage, if I had the fists. Because the fists are like super overpowered. Like ridiculously overpowered. It's like easy mode once you put the fists on. It's probably for good reason why it's not available in your early runs. It's like, oh, here we'll give you this uh, easy mode after you struggled a whole lot. <laughs> Understand you made it up to Asphodel before. Now that is progress. Keep it up. You keep on going, yeah? See, like their dialogue even changes based on how you did the run before. Like if you make it to the end, they they know and the, 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 their dialogue changes based on like, you know, the choices you made during this run and then like your progress in previous runs. It's it's cool. Like there's a lot of attention to detail that the game devs put into this. It's nice. Makes the experience even more like immersive. And it's like, oh shit, the choices I make actually matter. Festifog, it's epic. It's not the best, but I mean, that would be worth getting. Gain health every time you get nectar. Then you get one nectar now. So I do need to start getting keepsakes from several of the gods. So that's actually not a bad one. Plus it gives me extra health. Bonus damage per fountain. That's not too bad either. We're gonna go with this. Right up. Who should I give this to? Yeah. Simply because I want to um I want to get more nectar. And if I'm in a situation where I have to choose health over nectar, I will probably choose nectar over health. Just you know, like thinking in terms of like long term benefits. Uh 
so that boon will help make that choice a little easier because I'll be getting two benefits from choosing rooms with nectar. I do miss the explosive special <laughs> from the last run. Now to fix up this spear. Dash strike hits three times. Special attacks more range. Ooh, yeah, the dash strike hitting three times is, uh, that's a, that's a whole vibe. <laughs> yeah, 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 look at that. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> We've got a burst mode. <laughs> Spears with burst modes. Burst fire mode enabled. Yep. <laughs> burst fire enabled. <laughs> oh, that is something special. Oh, wow. Okay, so if we can get attack... Oh, okay, so... If I can get Artemis's... Oh, yeah, actually. If I can get Artemis, because her dash strike adds, like, increases more damage, and it hits three times. What a multiplier that is. Wow. Okay, so let's try... See if we can get Artemis. That would be... That would be... Oh, that would be so nice. <laughs> okay, and here we go. We've got a room with Nectar in it, so we're not only going to get Nectar to be able to um, advance relationships with other people and get more keepsakes offered to us, you know, that we choose between, um, and enjoy the benefits of all that all has to offer. We also get help here because of that Dionysus boon we took. We're already reaping the rewards here of that decision. Who doesn't love this stuff? Also, am I hitless? I think I'm, I might be hitless so far. That won't last long. <laughs> oh, man. I do hope I get offered Artemis. Because now is the time. Crystals were supposed to be pretty. Man, it's just doing so much damage. Yeah, that's killer, dude. I did take a hit during there. there for offer, the eternal spear. I thought it lost. Have you any idea how many lives it drank during your father's glory days? Look, they even react to the weapon you have in your hands. Like, the, so so good. So many layers. Blade rift cast, blade dash, Ares aid. I am going to take. Um. Oh man. The Ares aid would be nice. Maybe I'll get it offered again. That one's good. Any any aid where you can be impervious for a certain duration is really really handy. Like Poseidon's does that. Ares's does that. I think um, Athena's does that. Those are like top tier aids for sure. Um, I'm gonna go with. I mean, how how often am I super close to the enemy? That's just putting things out. I oh, it's this is a tough one, man. Um, we're uh, I'm gonna rely on. I just ah uh, oh man. No no no. Okay, so I can't. Okay, so hypothetical. If I want a th um Artemis's dash strike, I can't have a dash boon. So. As enticing as that is, I can't take it because I want to leave that spot open. So, between throwing a Blade Rift cast or having Impervious Aid, I'm going to go with Eerie's Aid. Damned lost souls with nowhere left to turn and congregate in deepest to Tartarus, where they fuse together with the Earth itself into odious forms which defy description. All right, so if any of that is... Into big crystals. If any of that's confusing, so check it out on my my hands going like it fail. Yes, down this part of the screen. Ah, oh, that was a whole fail. Anyway, on the <laughs> the left of the screen, you can see here the boons. Like, and you can see that some of them go in the far left, and some go into this you know the gray area on the the right. Um, there are 
one, two, three, four, five major boons. Uh, you're, there's an attack boon, a special boon, a cast boon, a dash boon, and then an aid boon. And once you have one of those filled, uh, that's it. So you kind of have to weigh your options, like because some some gods have different, better dashes than others, and some have better casts than others. So you kind of have to, when offered the choice, is gonna think like, okay, I want a different god for this boon so i don't want to choose that one because i need to leave that slot open so that's kind of what i was doing there i didn't want to take the dash even though it was a good dash and it was epic rarity i wanted to keep the dash open for artemis should i get the chance uh to find an artemis boon so anyway that was the reasoning the method behind the madness it probably looked like a dumb decision um because that dash was so good but there is a reason why I skipped it. I'm liking this setup so far. I'm, I'm handling this really well. My damage output is, is nice. Yeah, it's it, the triple dash strike is... That's legit. Um, I just gotta... If I can get Artemis and then get her boon. You're not going anywhere. Okay, one of these rooms. All right, here we go. We just gotta oh, survive. Survive. I feel like I'm an actor in Tropic Thunder right now. Survive. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. That was a that was a, a good movie. I I would say like the first time I tried to watch it, I was not amused. Um, I think I watched the first like 15 minutes of Tropic Thunder and I was like ah, not for me I, I saw it like on <laughs> what was it no it was on DVD I was about to say on VHS but no it wasn't that old um I remember seeing the first like I didn't see it in the theaters I because um Good enough. Uh, for whatever reason but I remember like seeing it on DVD I saw first like 20 minutes of it and I was like ah not not for me and then it wasn't until, like, after college, I went back and did, went through a tear of watching a whole bunch of movies uh, from that time period. And then I absolutely loved that movie. Like, so it just took me uh, l <laughs> sleeping on it for a few years to come to the point where I could truly appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So hoping for Artemis here. I I hear the river. Got it. Yes. Okay. So that's struggle number one. Struggle number two is hoping... That we get the dash strike. So, fingers crossed. Drum roll. Here we go. I'll take it. There it is. There it is, ladies and gents. Okay, so it's 50% extra damage, and it hits three times because of our Daedalus hammer. So, oh man. Oh, it's gonna be damage city. Let me tell you. Whew. Got to say, you are a sight for sore eyes there, Charon. So. uh... Looks like you're selling. Is that it? You come. Brilliant. Brilliant. The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman Charon lies broad about. Available for sale, whomever would be willing to quench. So I actually, actually want his keepsake. So if I remember right, his is the one that gives you a gold, like starting out. So it's almost like. A really good one to have in the first room if you've already like I don't know I'm gonna be using the collar a lot for the first room till I get my health up but let's go ahead and get it now Charon, you've been such a reassuring sight I thought I'd offer you a token of my gratitude <laughs> wait you don't have to give me something in return it was a gift though you're insisting aren't you <laughs> I don't know what to say, mate. Can I see the keepsakes from here? I can't. Okay. All right, all right. That's fine. I might be misremembering, though. I think his is... His has something to do with gold in the shot. So I thought it was like... Maybe it's not. There's a different keepsake then that's the purse. And the purse has, like, gold in it. So I'm misremembering which keepsake that is. Like, uh, yeah. All right, so all these, the the 
floating heads are pretty squishy. Uh, they don't have a lot of HP, so we're not really seeing the, uh, ah, yeah, the big guys here. This is where we're going to see the uh, benefit of the triple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? We just melted those dudes. What now? Oh, man. Um, what I don't I don't think there's anything I really want unless he offers like a whole bunch of extra health. Oh man, yeah, the two boons there wouldn't be bad. Getting Dionysus again. Um, I'm actually I, I want to palm the dash. <coughs> I'm gonna like double down on that even more. Yeah, these rooms are starting to. Yeah, that day was hammered, man. That's a game changer. If there ever there was a game changer, just the amount of damage the, the attack gives now is nuts. And with Artemis's like boom added on top of that for dash strike, oh, it's nuts. Gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some zest. I haven't even been in a situation to need the aid yet. That's funny. Um, we're gonna double down on this. I mean, I basically have the starter boons that I really want. So delicious. Ah. Uh, okay. So attack damage. The dash strike is kind of in that realm with attack damage. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So here's Meg. We haven't had to use a death defiance yet, which is nice. You can't get rid of me, Meg. Even if you manage to get past me, there's no getting out of Asphodel. You saw what it was like. You really want to go back there? It's not a matter of want. The way out is there, in that direction, past the River of Flame. You're more stubborn than your father. I never thought that such a thing was possible. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> wow, we're cutting a lot of damage here. Good judgment on when the aid's in. Nope. So I had to use the death to find. That was actually really close. <laughs> <coughs> the underworld's power. I would probably be like two hits away. And it's 50 darkness. That's that's nice. How are we doing on keys? Uh, four. Okay, so I need, I need to somehow get six more on this run. Okay, so I uh, would take the oh, a lot of health there. Um, let's double check this. Is items from the well have durations increased? Oh, his is the well. Okay, so someone else gives you a purse. So I I remember that incorrectly. I misremembered. So we're gonna go to a lucky tooth go with that to get us a death defiance. Bad time to be a little uh, if I have two hundred, I get an extra death defiance. Is there something I could sell? Wash away my boons. I want all of these. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, did I even have anything else I could have sold? I could have sold premium vintage. Oh, man. 
I'm s uh, Would any of them give me? Yeah. They would give me enough for another death to find. Um, I'm gonna have faith that we'll see another well and another walker. So we're gonna we're gonna wait. I've got faith. Up we go then. That or we get Athena to round it out the the four god choices. Within the suffocating heat of Asphodel reside the vast majority of those who lived upon the earth and died. There they persist until the end of time. Mm, morbid. Or until I crush their bones to dust. So this part of hell kind of aligns with your uh, typical view of like lava hill, like fire and brimstone and all that, so. Yeah. Already? What's going on there, Cuz? Can I call you Cuz? Uh, something here for you should make your battles to the death end that much quicker. I can dash more times than the realist can be helpful. More dashes means more dash strikes. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I've already wasted the death defiance, so we're going to have to rely on keys here. Or uh, we're going to try to rely on not dying quickly, but also, like, we're going to choose to get the items that we can keep after we inevitably die here. Oh, I, did I dash into the bomb? Oh, that's a yikes, man. What I want out of the shop. No, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to hold on to 200 gold so that I can always have enough to buy a replenishment of death to find. Should I be offered one in the well in the in the future? <laughs> Who knows? That might have been the only one I could ever get. There's a well there. Here's hoping we'll get eight gold at some point in this room for killing enemies. Yeah, there we go. We're up to 200 now. So here's hoping the well has a death point. bombs that I didn't need to take in the name of Hades. Let me go with that one. Damage bonus after killing an enemy. <sighs> okay. Let me take that. Your attack deals plus 30 damage. Um, it would be nice to have, but I want to keep myself close to 200 gold at all times. Okay, so what we got here? Um, Dionysus. Okay, well, I need something on the special. Do 
Do I though? Or cast? Blade rift there. I mean, more blade rift effects would be, would be good. Artemis's cast is pretty good. I also might be able to get pressure points. We're going to go with Artemis. And I know she's one of the people I want to get her keepsake, so I'm going to take this opportunity to give her nectar at the end of this fight. Oh! Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh. That hurts. What? I dodged? I swear I dodged. Oh. Yep. Ah, oh, that blasted giant gorgon head. Yep. <laughs> I guess I didn't dash far enough. Oh, that hurts, man. That hurts. That was such a good setup, too. Oh, uh, hey there, dude. Dang. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. No. Maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. <sighs> you want more pets? I've got more pets. <laughs> At least Cerberus is here to pet when I return to the house. <laughs> so how did it go? How did you die ignobly this time, pray tell? <laughs> Cerberus and I can't wait to hear the tale. In that case, I'll spare you the details. Fine. Your failure is quite easily imagined. How often it recurs. Almost as though my realm is built to keep you here. You and every single soul that's ever lived. But by all means, continue struggling. Achilles is off duty. Okay, so we do we don't often see Meg here, so I'm gonna go ahead and give her nectar. Uh and we're gonna go ahead and start that. I know her companion is something that I'm gonna want, so I'm gonna definitely start going down the romance option with Meg. Just so I can get to the point to get her uh her companion, I think is what it's called. But yeah, anyway. Hey, uh, Meg. Look, I, I know you're just doing your job out there, and anyway, found this, thought of you and all that, so here. I, I'll see to it. This contraband is put away at once. Now, take your finder's fee and go about your business. I, uh, thanks. <laughs> so, Zagreus. How's it going with that pact of punishment you signed? You've made some meaningful improvements to the underworld. I'll fight my way out of this place or earn it. Pact is nothing to me other than a way to keep things lively. You are delusional. I'll never understand you or your <laughs> father. Anyway, if you're looking for more punishment, you know where to find me. <clears throat> I feel like I'm living that sort of pact of punishment with the uh, Playing a video game while biking. Yeah. Got my own pact of punishment signed that I'm dealing with. <laughs> I do indeed. The Olympians can't really see me, can they, Nix? I mean, not very well. I get that they can sense details here and there, but they don't know the full extent of what's going on. Are we really so far beyond their influence? You are enshrouded from them, child. For your own benefit and theirs. They know as much as necessary to assist. And I trust they shall, for as long as you require. They are bound to one another as family. 
and they know that you require aid. Do not be too prideful to accept. I won't. Right on. Go lie down. Okay, so this is where the other run I was wondering about resting I at the bed and what that did. Oh, so I could get 10 keys if I meet all the rulers. And, okay. I'm close to that one. I've already earned that one. Okay, so story time, ladies and gentlemen. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the underworld, Zagreus rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? Well, I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be <laughs> sneaky here. <laughs> it's the breaking of the fourth wall again. It's great. He ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him. That he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades <laughs> never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. <laughs> I'll have to go around behind the He rifles deck. through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades. I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. Mm. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps Poetic. it's on the coast and has a little <laughs> garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. So there we go. That's uh, quite quite the uh, spoiler bomb there so thus did prince of the underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter written in his mother's hand his mother's hand my mother's hand wait what <laughs> you're saying this Persephone that she's my mother but but father always said that Nyx was m that liar he lied to me they both did all my life See, here's a, a little detail um, you pick up here. So Zagreus has two colored eyes. He's got a red eye from his father and then a green eye from his mother. So that's a, a little detail you start to notice. So when you look at his character portrait, you see the red and the green eye. So it, it's, it was there, like, the whole time, which is, like, really cool. It's, like, subtle, subtle, like, storytelling there, even with, the, like, the character, like, the avatar of the character. Yeah, character model. Uh, thus did the prince discover inadvertently the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. <laughs> no, you told him. <laughs> Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nyx, you're not my mother. 
All this time, you and my father, you, you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. So that's one of the reasons why Nyx is helping. I wonder, will you even remember me? Uh, helping Zagreus get to the surface. Is this all that the fates have planned for me? So that he might meet Persephone at the surface. Let's have a look here. So we got 141. Five keys. Let's see if anything. Did we get offered the fists in the weapon room? No. <laughs> okay, we're still chugging away to try to get 10 at the chest. That one looks interesting. Uh, Megs. And more damage when you're low on health. Okay. Starting the round, we are power. going for the collar. Yeah. Don't suppose I can talk you into fighting back this time? Not a chance, boyo. I'm paid to take it, not to dish it out. Nope. Okay. So there we go. Um, a promising run ended abruptly uh, due to some mediocre game, uh, mediocre play. <laughs> I wonder who's at fault for that. I just, it's no, I haven't the earthliest idea. Uh, and then we had some really cool, like, storytelling going on there and, like, finding out more of the lore behind the motives for our characters and, and why they're doing what they're doing. So that was, it was, it was nice. Definitely a good playthrough, good fun experience. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Glad you're back for another one of the Let's Play series. Uh, we're going to have plenty more to come. So if you're enjoying it, uh, keep an eye on the channel. Um, and, you know, subscribe if you want or whatever. Uh, leave me a comment in there. If you've ever played like Hades before, tell me, like, what you liked about it or didn't like about it or, or whatever, man. Or if you want to um, make fun of my mediocre gameplay, then go right on ahead. <laughs> uh any tips and recommendations on getting better? Um, much appreciated. Also, get good kid. I will. I will take that advice and take it to heart, one hundred percent. Right on. Well, I will catch you on the next one, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.